is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles on site, the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this is an awesome 1979 XS 750 Yamaha Triple. Our good friend Jonathan Burkhart, one of the guys who was hanging out with us at Ricerama this weekend, he's one of our YouTube subscribers. He's also a professional motorcycle mechanic. This was his bike, and he had a deal. He gave us a price on the bike, but it included two things one, a picture of him and I, and a Kaplan Cycles t shirt. So I said, deal. In any event, Mike rode this bike for several years as uh, his daily driver, and he went right through the bike, top to bottom, front to back. Before I uh, tell you what he did to it, I'll let Junior have a couple words here. He said, give him the mic, so here it is. What's happening, guys? This is Ken Jr. from Kaplan Cycles and the New England Motorcycle Museum. If you guys don't recognize me, it's because I'm, most of the time I'm behind the camera. I quit my job as a freelance videographer to, to come uh, play with some antique bikes with my pops and the old antique buildings we have here so uh, today we're showcasing our 79 xs 750 we got this from our friend jonathan burkhart he was he was a, a technician and uh one of our, our fans and uh, we met up with him at the rice rama jet bike show we had an absolute blast and <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh this is and just impeccable running xs 750 one of the nicest that we've had through the shop and uh, i'm not just saying that this thing it absolutely rips it's got power everywhere. The carbs are tuned perfectly. It's clearly been kept up. It's been well maintained. Um, Ken, tell them about the services that, that John Hat did to the bike while it was in his possession. Yeah, John went through the whole bike, top to bottom, front to back. He started by taking the tires off, putting a brand new set of tires on the bike, uh, went through the brake system, bled the brakes. Um, he actually had the front end off the bike, redid the fork seals and the fork rubbers are all brand new. He's put about 3,000 miles total on the bike since he had it. And uh, he also went through the entire fuel system. If you open up the gas tank on the bike, you can see it looks like, this is like the first thing you check on a 40 year old motorcycle. Look inside here and the tank is spotless. It looks really good. Um, so he cleaned out the tank. He went through the entire fuel system, rebuilt the petcocks, new fuel lines, and completely dismantled to the last jet and float bowl and uh, last component, the three carburetors probably had 80 parts, 100 parts in there out on the on the bench when he did it. Completely rebuild the carburetors and cleaned out the air box and air filter, put a brand new battery in it, and then put everything back together. The fuel system's completely reconditioned and uh, went through all the electrical stuff. Everything works beautifully on the bike. All the components will demonstrate in a moment. The uh, oil was changed and he took it out and, and rode it for uh, three years as his primary rider about 3,000 miles, so it's um, absolutely the best running 750 we've had in here. Ken and I were talking about this, about the value of these before we uh, did the, the, the video. Uh, right now, the NADA value in number one condition is $4,380, but we take that with kind of a grain of salt and go by what we've been selling them for. What are the real world numbers? We had one of these that was all rusted out and had a seized motor and we sold it for parts and it auctioned off for a thousand dollars that was from our buddy obed over in stafford connecticut i literally dragged it out of his yard it was sitting outside it was red it showed halfway decent cosmetically but it needed it needed a complete mechanical restoration Auction, auctioned off for a little over a thousand dollars on our ebay page here. and then another one of our clients bought one of these overseas living on an island actually purchased it and it's still here at the museum which is when we love we love when people do that they buy the bikes and leave them here uh the uh the um sorry a little distracted dave's got his diesel and he's ripping up the driveway here so in any event he purchased that one that we have in the museum now the beautiful burgundy one for four thousand dollars about three years ago they've gone up in value since then this one is every bit as nice as his the only issues i saw on the bike cosmetically is a small ding in the front fender and it's original. um and i believe i believe this is original paint but i can't tell for sure uh, it may be a repaint but the paint is not perfect it's got a couple of little blemishes in it but it shows well it's a rider it's a it's a, it's a rider absolutely october 13th and 14th rocktoberfest down here at the new england motorcycle museum it's a grand opening event battle of the bands in the largest antique motorcycle show kaplan america's got his new outfit on too buddy so it's about to get real you know when i break out the helmet it's time to send it ha <laughs> ha i'm gonna jump my bmx bike <laughs> over four motorcycles gonna send it Whoa. talking with one of, the, one of the guys I was talking with one of the guys at the rice Rama show we saw a lot of beautifully concourse quality you know restored bikes 100 point bikes and and he, he was saying you know once once you spend all that money to get a bike perfect once you have a 100 point bike then then uh, then you're not gonna want to ride it you know <laughs> so that there, there, there's beauty in the patina there's beauty in the originality and it's a 
Jap in, in line three that's got a lot of life left in her. So definitely a, a good runner or investment quality bike. De definitely the triples have a lot of character. Um, I, I own these bikes back in the day when they were brand new. I was born in 65. So um, these were the bikes we were buying when we were in our 20s. And I've owned several of them and had them as my primary bike. It's an awesome machine. Long travel suspension in the front, triple disc brakes, mag wheels, low maintenance bike, pretty much bulletproof. They st they've stood the test of time now that the bike's 40 years old and they, they it's still relevant as a daily rider, daily driver. Uh, the seat is a sergeant saddle on here, so the seat's a big upgrade from the stock one. Um, and uh, he did change all the fluids in the bike, the primary and secondary drives, um, engine oil, everything he had gone through, lubricated the cable. So, uh, I think it has new mirrors on it. I'm not positive. I don't think these are the originals. And in any event, they're in excellent condition. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about the bike, give us. So the bike will be sold with a clear or rather uh, transferable registration from Jonathan up here in the Northeast. We are uh, essentially every state is a non-title state. And all states in, uh, in the U.S. are reciprocating on that matter. So wherever you are, all 50 states, the documents we provide will be sufficient for registration. And it's got kickstart, so you can show all your yuppie buddies with their new bikes that how it used to be done by real men back in the day. <laughs> Listen to the exhaust note on this thing. And if you're old and tired like me, you just hit the button, electric start. But you definitely want to, you definitely want to kickstart it when you when you pull up to the cafe. Where all the cafe racers are, you want to kickstart it, show them you, you've got a old school Yamaha here. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to ride. So without further ado, I'm going to take it for a rip. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America. This is Ken Jr. again. I work in the shop full time Monday through Friday and answer questions on eBay over the weekend. So if you have any questions on it, if you need a shipping quote, give me a call. Call me at 860-454-7024. Be in the shop at Kaplan Cycles and the New England Motorcycle Museum. As you guys know, we're having our grand opening event. About a month ago, we had the soft opening. We, we uh, got the occupancy about 12 days before that event. We weren't really ready. Stops on a dime. Sure. Are you gonna edit this video? Uh, this is going straight on YouTube. Bars are right where they're supposed to be. Everything works great. Shifts beautifully. Clutch beautifully. I'm running with the mic. Right? The brakes around point. Watch the stop on a dime. Nothing like the exhaust note with the triple. It has a lot of torque. A little more torque than a, than a four cylinder of the same size. Cycles. New or used, big or small, we buy them all. One to 1,000. Any make, model, or condition, give us a call. I'm 90% sure that's a stock exhaust, but it barks. I'll, I'll try and get up close when Ken comes by so you guys, you guys can actually hear it. So, anyways, August, or excuse me, October 13th, 14th, Grand opening event, we're calling it Rocktober. Vendors, Battle of the Bands, huge motorcycle show. If you guys saw our new intro, use some clips from the previous opening event, we were packed. Hundreds of bikers came out to uh, experience the day with us and it was phenomenal. We had the ribbon cutting ceremony for the museum and we're gonna have a lot more time to prep for this one. So give us a call if you have any questions about the event. I can keep riding all day, but you get that here. Let's bring her in. Good luck bidding, guys, and God bless America.